This video will cover various ways to search Embase. Embase includes article citations from over 8,500 journals published across the world, as well as article citations from Medline. Users can access this subscription database through the DAL Libraries website at libraries.dal.ca. There are two common ways to search Embase, using the quick search function, which is helpful for getting an overview of the literature, or building a search using entry terms and keywords, which is a more advanced method of searching. Entry terms are standardized terms or tags that tell you what the article is about. While PubMed has medical subject headings, or MeSH, Embase has Entry. In Embase, Entry can be accessed by clicking the Entry link in the topmost menu and typing a concept into the search box. Note that when searching Entry, each concept must be entered separately. Suggested Entry terms may appear in a pop-up menu, as shown here when typing Teenager. Selecting an entry term from the list, such as adolescent, will direct you to its information page where we are given a scope note that defines how the term is being used, synonyms if there are any, and a hierarchy which shows our term in relation to broader or narrower concepts. Keyword searching, on the other hand, is the type of search you would do in Google, and keywords can appear in any field of a citation, including title, abstract, journal source, and so on. Supplementing entry terms with keywords can be helpful for broadening your search and finding citations that have not been tagged with the entry term you chose. Let's conduct a quick search using the terms teenager and acne and accutane. Available from the Embase homepage, quick search automatically interprets and adjusts your search using both entry terms and keywords. In the drop-down beside the top search box, make sure quick search is selected and type teenager into the box beside it. As you type, suggested entry terms may appear and selecting one of them, such as adolescent, will add it to our search. Follow these same steps for acne and accutane in the search boxes below. Note that the suggested entry term for accutane is isotretinoin. Double check that your Boolean operators are set to AND, which means all concepts must be present in citations retrieved. This narrows your search. OR means only one concept needs to be present for a citation to be retrieved, which broadens your search. Click Show Results. Your search history will be shown near the top of the results page, and it can be used to keep track of past searches and combine them. The number of results retrieved will also be displayed for each search. For example, our last search retrieved over 800 results. Taking a closer look at how Quick Search interpreted our search terms, we see that our terms were searched in two different ways, as entry terms and keywords. The forward slash exp that has been added to adolescent, acne, and isotretinoin indicates that these terms were searched as entry terms. exp stands for exploded, which means that the database was searched for this term and all possible narrower terms in the entry hierarchy. Each concept is also automatically grouped together using parentheses to ensure that Boolean operators are correctly applied to the appropriate search terms. To broaden your results, you may want to manually add additional keyword synonyms to each concept. To come up with synonyms, search online or in Mtree. You can also run a quick search on your topic in Embase and scan the results list for other terms. Then, in your search history, hover your mouse over the appropriate search and select Edit. In the text box, you can add additional keywords using the OR operator. For example, let's add OR, then Teenager, to the other adolescent terms. Note that Boolean operators such as AND and OR should be capitalized to ensure that Embase interprets your search correctly. Select Test, then Accept and Update. Back in Quick Search, let's see what happens when we ignore the suggested entry terms for Teenager and select Show Results. As shown in the search history, Teenager was searched as an entry term even though there was no exact equivalency in entry. This indicates that Teenager was automatically mapped to a relevant entry term. We also see that teenager was searched as a keyword. Note that there may not always be a relevant entry term for your concept, and if there isn't, you may need to rely solely on keywords to describe your concept. Next, let's build a search using entry terms and keywords. Navigate back to entry by selecting the link from the topmost menu. Enter teenager again and select adolescent from the pop-up menu. In the entry hierarchy, we see three narrower terms under adolescent and these will automatically be included in our search unless we deselect the box that says Explode. Leave the box selected, click Add to Query Builder, and then Search. Now we can run a keyword search. 
Keywords can be entered into the search box above the search history, but for more precision, let's navigate back to the Embase homepage by clicking Search from the topmost menu. Select Reset Form. We can use the top search box, but this time we'll click on the drop-down to view our options. All fields means our keywords might appear in any field of a citation, and Title or Abstract means our keywords must be present in the title or abstract fields of all citations retrieved. Select all fields from the drop-down and type adolescent or teenager into the search box beside it. Click Show Results. We can now combine our adolescent entry and keyword searches in our search history by selecting the boxes next to searches 3 and 4, the OR operator, and then combine. Our combined search is shown in Search 5. After continuing the same process for the remaining concepts of Acne and Accutane, we can then AND these combined searches together by selecting Searches 5, 8, and 11, the AND operator, and then Combine. In other words, our final search, Search 12, includes both entry terms and keywords for each concept of Teenager, Acne, and Accutane. Use the filters to the left of the search results or directly below the search bar to customize your results by publication date, study type, and so on. You may also want to select the Show All Abstracts option at the top of the results list to view your search results in more detail. To access the full text of an article, click the Get It at Dal button. If you're unfamiliar with the Get It at Dal button, check out our tutorial in the description below. To save articles, select the checkbox to the left of the title and click Add to Clipboard at the top of the results list. The articles will remain in your clipboard until you end your session, but you can also permanently save your clipboard to your Embase account. Thanks for watching! For subject guides, live help, other online tutorials, and contact information for the five Dalhousie libraries, check out the links in the description below.